Hello, I'm Stay Sherwin, and this is my buddy, Ace Ventura. Today we're gonna take you on a safari through the jungles of India on the flatlands like one that we're in ourselves. We'll be going through many different animals like elephants, tigers, mongooses, all kinds of animals, even the national animal of India, the peacock. So, come and join us on the safari! What could that be? Oh, come here. What could that be? Come here. Oh my god. Wait, get cover. Get cover. That, that thing's extremely dangerous. Okay. Oh my god. You got the tripod, Joe? There we go. That, that is extremely dangerous. That, that right there. That is, if that's the majestic Indian Bengal tiger. That's one of the most dangerous animals in all of India. It can reach really fast speeds and it is a carnivore, which means it eats meat. It also sometimes rarely snacks on berries and other fruits. I'm going to get as close as I can to it without getting hurt or being signed. I need to crouch down. I'm gonna get a clear view of it. The Bengal tiger is is one of the animals that you picture whenever you think of India, or at least I do. It it can reach amazing speeds at which it uses to catch its favorite food, which is antelope in horses. Well, not really horses, except antelope in animals in like that that it eats for food on a regular basis. It also would have no problem going in a human, so you really be careful around them. They have amazingly sharp teeth, except they only grow for two to three years, and they've almost been extinct because of sport hunting that has been going on from British industries that have been doing it in Europe. So, end podcast. Oh, oh, and wait. On a probably a base of one to ten on how dangerous it is, it's probably somewhere around eight to nine. That's what I would say. Perfect, guys. Go, go to it. That's one of the first times I've ever seen one in person. 
That is the Indian elephant. It's one of the most biggest creatures on earth. And it, it must be a male because it has the two tusks, right? Right here. And also, Take well, a mustache. No. Except it uses the tusks to dig up trays and things like that because the main. I kill it. The ma no, no, no! What's that? The main food that it eats. Why can I kill it? It's bark and leaves. And. That's all I can really think about. What to say for the elephant, but. So, Ice, what do you think it's a. What? Alright, okay, Ice, what do you think the danger level is? Probably. Probably. Uh, I'd say. Uh, maybe a five. Okay. So, that's it. We'll be seeing more. Right now, my friend Ice, we're, we're looking for a peacock, so. Right now, he's doing the mating call. It's mating season, so we thought, why won't we just do the mating call? Maybe we could get one. Yeah. Yeah, I have to uh, attract a male because my voice is in deep, so. We're also trying to get a male because the males are the ones with the uh, bigger feathers, so... Also, they're, uh, Yeah, even though that thing makes up 60% of their body, they can still flutter around the ground, they can glide. Now he's trying a different approach. Boy, George, Ice, I think we have one! There's one right there! Ah, there's a peacock! Let's find the peacock, come on! Uh. Oh, oh, Wait, right here. Oh, oh. We don't want to scare away. Right here. Right. That is. Peacock. What a grateful yeah, creature. I got it. I got it. See it? See it right there? Can you see it? Yeah. It's an amazing creature. Beautiful. I'm going to sneak up behind it. Like I said, these are pretty amazing creatures. They also have really good hearing. Peacocks, namely, forage at night time and in the daytime. That's when they get their food. They also taste like chicken. Wait, ice! No! Oh, I we need to be very, very quiet. Me and ice here. We were we are walking down the sidewalk here in India, and we Steve, I think it's awake. We saw a snake. A deadly white cobra. Spits at its prey to, well, blind them. When it feels threatened, it uh, it has extra skin around it. It's fat. And when it gets uh, threatened, it arches its three-fourths of its back and it flattens out its neck. The the flaps it, of skin that it doesn't use flattens out, and that's what most people see and think about when they hear a cobra. They think of it sitting up like this with its uh, skin flaps sticking out. Um, it spits at its prey. Extremely poisonous. They um, refer to this uh, as uh, sometimes they, some Indian cultures refer to it as a god. Uh, they call it. Naja Naja. Naja Naja or something. S something like that. And uh, it's one of their um, 
very, they, they almost worship it. It's not quite a god, but it is a treasured animal and um, very important in their cultures. Um, the cobra is... Say, but it's an albino, as you can see. It's not fully albino because it doesn't have red eyes, but it's, by, by its color, it's definitely albino. It doesn't look... It doesn't have the gray, more gray color. It's a gray color, but it's very light, light gray, more of a white color. If, uh, most, av the average uh, cobra um, probably, usually is about a darker gray color, like the tree trunk that it's next to, that's about them, those two cobras compared to each other. Uh, I say we should just leave it alone because this is not a creature you should mess with. It can spit very far, so I think it's something we should not worry about. What it normally eats is it has a diet of frogs and mice and all those little rodents like that. They but it also can eat a human. It um it will have multiple snakes with it. They're they're mostly scavengers at some points for little but for little rodents it, it will uh, eat those uh, as soon as it sees it. But if you have a maybe a I'd say a human, a baby, it will attack. But if it's just a, a normal human, it will attack if you come near it. All I can say is if you're near it, you see it, you get away from it. Don't try to attack it or run at it or try to scare it away because it will not be scared. And just look at it in the eyes because they are also very cannibalistic. They will eat their own kind all the time. Oh, wait. I... It's moving. It's moving! It's moving! Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. This is a mongoose. They are in the weasel family. There's there's a pack of them. There's two. Very uh, they can be good creatures, but it's it's very close to the cobra. It's just the cobra is right down here. These things, they were bred for killing cobras. The cobras are their main diet. They eat lots of rodents, but. Anytime it comes near a cobra, the cobra should run away or get away because since it doesn't have feet, it can't run. So that wouldn't make sense. But but, but it would have to stay away because th these things are very very dangerous. They can be very nice if they're if they're bred in in uh, captivity, but they are not animals to have for a pet. Um, they are okay when they're young, but they are not meant for pets. They can bite, and if they bite, they... They're basically a ferret and a weasel, but they're much more wild. They are also larger, darker colored, and most of the time, they're never albino. They, they don't survive when they're albino. They, their bite is very awful because they have strong jaws, and they might even have rabies sometimes, which adds an extra dangerous thing. I'm glad that we saw this today because this is our last day in India, so it was pretty good to end with something big. Wait, if you can't see it here, come come closer. Come, come on, come on, don't be shy. There it is. There it is, there's that, there's that little blight, blighter. That thing's, that bloke is dangerous. It's, it's just As you can right see, now. it is extremely close to that cobra over there. The one that we needed to get away from, it came near us. It's that little devil over there. That thing, that little devil is about to die by by a quick bite from a, uh, a mongoose. What that mongoose can do is it, what it can do is if you, uh, the mongoose gets next to the cobra, then it can go and bite it and it will bite the cobra right on the neck and it severs the spinal cord. This is our last podcast, so this is me and Ice Venture saying goodbye from India. Peace out, home dogs. Oops.